From a historical perspective, squatter settlements have been a part of the Jamaican landscape since emancipation. If properly contextualized, these settlements can be viewed as a response by the disenfranchised to inadequate housing provisions over many years, particularly for the poor and disadvantaged. Left unchecked, these settlements with their less than desirable infrastructure can create environmental and public health challenges. The Dr. Kashyap mentioned them. Becoming eyesores and otherwise pristine environments, and in some instances becoming associated with criminal activities. With over 700 squatter settlements in this country, and this data is subject to verification, as there is a new suggestion that this is less. The government through the Ministry of Transport, Works and Housing is cognizant of the challenges that can arise from such situations and therefore welcomes the opportunity to partner with the United Nations Human Settlement Program, UN Habitat, in implementing the participatory slum upgrading program in Jamaica. The overall objectives of the program, you would have heard before, but I reiterate, speaks to addressing the challenges that we face as a nation, particularly in our urban areas, and underscore the positive impact that initiatives such as these can have on people and the economy, where good urban governance practices are adopted and where people are allowed to participate in decision-making processes. Additionally, in strengthening the capacity of local, central, and regional institutions to manage settlement developments through the adoption of sound management approaches, policy formulation and implementation, and the embracing of institutional, financial, and normative frameworks. The program will further assist the country in playing its part in realizing the MDG goals, particularly goal number seven, target 11, which seeks to improve the lives of at least 100 million slum dwellers by 2020. As an aside, many of you are aware that this target has already, has already been met globally, but this knowledge should serve as no hindrance to our continued efforts to improve the lives of this disenfranchised group of people. As a government, we are related that Jamaica is one of five countries in the Caribbean where the program is being implemented. Phase one of the program, as you would have heard, started in 2008 and ended in 2011. Consequent on the completion of phase one of the project, a memorandum of understanding and an agreement of cooperation were signed between the government of Jamaica through the Ministry of Transport, Works and Housing and the UN Habitat to facilitate the implementation of phase two of the program. We are appreciative of the funding received in the amount of 125,000 US dollars to facilitate the implementation of phase two and the collaborative efforts of UN Habitat in guiding the process. I must here express my appreciation to the executive director of UN Habitat, Dr. Juan Klaus, for his continued confidence in the Latin American and the Caribbean region and for his renewed commitment to Jamaica as expressed in a side meeting held in Kigali in 2013. 